Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're going to use these tarot cards to look at another couple in season two of Love is Blind. Today we are doing Sal and Mallory. And I know what you're thinking. Those fools are done. Why do we need to look into their cards? Good question. We're doing this because I just wanted to see what it was, you know? Uh, they were a very interesting couple from a psychological standpoint. So let's take a longer look at the energies that ultimately drove them apart. Uh, so before we do that with these cards, let's take a look at their signs of the zodiac. As always, I couldn't find any birth data online for either of these people, but that's okay, I guess. <laughs> So Sal is March 29th, he's in Aries, so that's prime, let me scratch my face, Aries territory. I did not figure him for an Aries, uh, he struck me as a guy that has a lot of strong water placements. Uh, watching him on screen, I got very strong water vibes, particularly Cancer, just like in his feelings and, oh, da, da, you know, nurturing and, oh, I have to check in with my feelings. Um, and, you know, he kind of got butt hurt like a Cancer could at times, or a Pisces for that matter. So I was very surprised to see that he's an Aries. Mallory is a Pisces. She's March 16th, I believe. I, I could kind of see that. It and doesn't she work for a nonprofit? So I'm not working for a nonprofit. You've got to have a lot of heart to do that. And you've really got to be in touch with, you know, your higher emotions about, you know, what is right and rebalancing, you know, certain unlevel playing fields in society. So, you know, her heart is in the right place with her work. So that would suggest to me that she's a more evolved Pisces. Watching the final episode of Love is Blind when Sal rejected Mallory at the altar, I, w I was shocked. Like so many people were shocked, but I was like, wow, I see now that Sal is actually a very dangerous person. He might be the most dangerous type of fuckboy out there. You know, it's the fuckboy who's all about his feelings and who's all about like, oh, but my feelings, you know, and who puts on a good show about, you know, wanting to move the relationship forward. But then when it comes to actually doing that, he's like, no, peace. So he, he struck me as an incredibly misleading person. And let us not forget, you know, on the morning or day, I don't know what time of day they shot, the day of their wedding, he was like, oh, and I also got a mariachi band. I was like, bitch, why you get a mariachi band if you're not going to say yes? So that they can like serenade you as you're leaving and you're like, bye, bitch, you know, enjoy the humiliation. I was like, why, why would he get a mariachi band? Like, think of all the stuff that Sal did, you know, the cooking, the dinner for her, the singing to her. We had to sit through two sessions of him singing, one with his flatmate and then one just singing at the park. Oh my god, I was like, this is a lot of singing, buddy. Like, it's a lot of singing. I was just like, great. You have feelings. You want to sing about them. That's wonderful. But you do not expect the guy that is singing about his feelings to not say yes at the altar. But then again, he just leaned on it again. He's like, oh, but my feelings. You know, I just, I have to check in with my feelings. And then she's like, well, do you want to try and continue this outside of here? And he's like, oh, I don't know. I was like, oh, I don't know, you were standing on, like, this is a show about marriage. I was just like, oh, I don't know, like, it was just like, it, it almost seemed to me like he was being motivated by a place of revenge on Mallory, because she did kind of humiliate him when she was canoodling with Jarrett, and he was like, you wanted a gold ring, and he was just like, are you ready to get married? And she's like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know is a fair answer, but, and then, J and then uh, Sal was on the beach, and he was all butt hurt. I was just like, when, like, these boys that think that they're hot shit, when they get butt hurt, watch out. Because they are all ego at that point. And so like, watch out, because they're going to be coming for you to even the score. Now, I know I sound like a very paranoid person, but I've seen a lot of things in my time. So, let's just go. Let's use these cards and see what the heck was going on there. Let's get some answers. That's what I would like to do. Now I'm cutting the cards with my non-dominant hand.
Okay, so let's start with Mallory Sal. Mallory Sal. Helping or hurting the situation and resolution. I mean, yes, we already know what, what the heck happened there, but there might be more to know, you know. Okay, so let's start with Mallory's external vibe towards him. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so Mallory got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So upright, uh, the Knight of Pentacles, ironically, is one of the fuckboy cards. This is like the card where he's, it's kind of like the guy that's lost the forest for the trees. Like, he's so obsessed about the details, he loses sense of the bigger picture. Um, and this is also a, another very passive figure. So usually it's a good thing when someone gets this card in reverse. Um... Because uh, it means that the, the static, the passive energy is breaking up, that's receiving, there can be more movement, more action coming forward. So that's good. Um, so what that means in terms of Mallory with her feelings towards him, it may be that she's seeing him for what he is. Um, or it could mean there's movement, meaning more movement away from him. So we'll see. We'll pull a few more cards. So let's see what Sal's external vibe towards Mallory is. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So they got the Ten of Cups, which is the, you know, happily ever after card. So we know they're not together. So what this indicates is that, um, well, let's just make sure that they're not together. Okay. It doesn't look like they're together. It looks like she's still, you know, putting herself out there in the world is the vibe I got from looking at her Instagram. So what this means, what this means externally, Sal towards Mallory, is that he's like, I'm happier without you. My life is so great without you right now. Is something wrong? Not for me. Um, so that's what that indicates. All right. So let's take a look at what's going on with Mallory internally towards Sal. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Okay, so she got the devil in reverse. So the devil in reverse ordinarily is a very positive reversal for a couple to get. It's one of the most powerful reversals in the deck. And ironically, you know, the, the chains of the devil card in reverse here are supposed to mimic the rainbow above the Ten of Cups, the Happily Ever After card. So this is a cup, a card that you get uh, in a relationship reading where it's like, you know what, you and your significant other, y'all been through hell. But you know what, you're out of the fire swamp and now you're closer, you're bonded, you're, you're more stronger than ever. Your relationship is, is better than ever and you guys are more connected because you've kind of been through hell together. So in this case, we know that they're not together but it indicates that towards, well, it means that she's free of him, is what this suggests. She's free of him. Um, it's, a, it's a card of the, the chains aren't connecting them anymore. Um, and that probably she's stronger for the experience. Because let us not forget, that is quite a thing to have someone say no at the altar, you know, in those circumstances. Particularly from someone you thought you were going to get a yes from. Oh my god. Okay, now let's look at uh, what's going on internally with Sal towards Mallory. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Okay, well, um, you got the Six of Cups upright. That's a card of compassion. It's the Freaky Friday card. You know, it's kind of like, hey, I've walked in your shoes. Like, I remember what it was like to be little. So here you have in this card, you have the older Jedi talking to the younger Jedi. I say Jedi, they could be siblings. It's like someone who's 10 looking at someone who's... Four and just being like, you know what? I remember when it was hard trying to tie my shoelaces. And so I'm going to help you out. I'm just going to go easy on you. So it's, it's about a safe space for compassion. And so that's what's going on between them right now. Or at least towards Sal. He has compassion towards her and the whole experience. So that's good. You, there's clarity on both ends. It doesn't seem like anyone's terribly butthurt. Let's see what's helping or hurting the situation. <laughs> Hmm, okay. So there's some healing going on. There's some healing going on. Um, so this is the Five of Cups in reverse. So upright, 
the Five of Cups is, you know, it's the ultimate butthurt card. It's, it's a card of, oh, something terrible happened, so I'm gonna go to the river and cry with my black cloak and all my cups are empty. And it's like, you know, you've got two cups over here that are full. Um, and so when this card comes up, it suggests a disappointment. It's not major, but you'll get over it. And because you have these two upright cups here, it suggests, you know, the two of cups from the Rider White deck. It suggests that a new partnership may be coming. So when this card shows up in reverse, it means it's a time for healing. It's a time for healing. Uh, all the butthurt energy is receding. People are going to be moving on. It also suggests, because the two of cups here are now in reverse, that, you know, a new partnership may not be coming soon. And right now, it's just the time to heal, folks. So that seems to be fitting these two. Okay, and now let's see where the energy is heading. Hmm. Well, this is good. This is good for them both. Uh, so they got the death card, also known as Lennox's favorite card of the death. <laughs> of the death. Of the deck! Um, so, as we discussed earlier uh, in another video, this is a card of transformation. So when the death card comes up, I mean, I love it. I once got it uh, when, uh, when I was new to tarot over 10 years ago. I was asking about a Taurus guy, and uh, this card came up as what was going to happen to our relationship. And I looked it up online, I was like, what does this card mean? And they were like, well... You know, it could be the ending of a relationship, or it could be the rebirth of a, of a current relationship. And I was like, oh, I hope it's the rebirth. And then, within a week, we had broken up. And I put that guy in my rearview mirror. And sure, the transition, crossing the threshold of ending that relationship to being single again, is a difficult threshold to cross, but I was way better off on the other side of it. Way, way, way better off. Um, so right now, they're crossing a difficult threshold. You know, just the aftermath and the hoopla of the show and the public interest and the public scrutiny, it's a lot to have people talking about your lives and how you conducted yourself under a very bizarre circumstance. So they are cro both crossing that threshold separately and they're both going to be better off and stronger on the other side. So I'm cool with that, y'all. I'm cool with that. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below. I read them all. I really like hearing everyone's perspective on all this. And as always, we're going to do this again. <laughs>